Today, IBM Research announced that scientists demonstrated for the first time the ability to measure the charged state of individual atoms using non-contact atomic force microscopy. Measuring with the precision of a single electron charge and nanometer lateral resolution, researchers succeeded in distinguishing neutral atoms from positively or negative charged ones. These results will impact a variety of fields such as molecular electronics, catalysis or photovoltaic. As reported in the June the 12th issue of Science magazine, Leo Gross, Fabian Mohn and Gerhard Meyer of IBM Zurich Research Lab, in collaboration with the University of Regensburg and Utrecht University, imaged and identified differently charged gold and silver atoms by measuring the tiny differences the in the tip of an atomic force microscope and a charged or uncharged atom located in close proximity below it. In this figure, on the left panel, a schematic of the measurement geometry is shown. The gold atom, which can be either neutral or negatively charged, sits on a sodium chloride double layer on a copper substrate. The tip, which is also terminated with a gold atom, scans parallel to the surface at a distance of about 0.5 nanometers, about two gold atom diameters. The tip is fixed to the prong of a tuning fork oscillating with amplitudes as small as 0.02 nanometers, about a tenth of an atom's diameter. On the right-hand side, AFM measurements show an increased force above the charged gold atom. IBM scientist Leo Gross comments, Two years ago, about um, the Amadin lab did a very nice work with non-contact atomic force microscopy, together with Franz Giesebel, who is the co-author of this paper, and um, he helped us setting up the tuning fork, which is a special type of a non-contact atomic force microscope, which is very suited for our experiments, working at low temperature and working with very small amplitudes. To study the charge transfer in molecule complexes, the scientists envision that in future experiments, single atoms could be connected with molecules to form metal molecular networks. By using the tip for charging these atoms, electrons could then be injected into the system and their distribution measured directly by the non-contact AFM. IBM scientist Leo Gross adds, The next steps will be um, now investigating molecules using non-contact AFM and actually really moving to thicker insulators where adsorbates are better decoupled from the conducting substrate that is below the This insulator. achievement follows a string of remarkable scientific advances achieved by IBM scientists in recent years and represents a fundamental step towards building computing elements at the molecular scale, computing elements that are expected to be vastly smaller, faster and more energy efficient than today's processors and memory devices. This is Anne-Marie Cromack reporting.